15 of the world's most unnatural individuals. All over the world, there are people with extraordinary skills. Whether some are expert martial artists or super strong men or women, they have that special oomph. If you're enjoying watching people that defy the odds, then you need to see this as we count down 15 of the world's most unnatural individuals. <laughs> At number 15, Annette Floschik. Annette Floschik began her career as a powerlifter when she was 16 years old. She won the Polish Championship on multiple occasions and was crowned European Champion in 2000. She's the first Polish woman to lift 500 kilos in powerlifting. She began weightlifting after being suspended from the national team, which was ultimately found to be baseless and overturned by the court. She became the junior Polish champion and vice senior champion. She began practicing on the apparatus using strong man and strong woman competitions. She won the world's strongest woman in Zambia a year later and Europe's strongest woman in Ireland in 2004. In 2003, 2005, 2006 and 2008, she was crowned world champion and world's strongest woman. According to Guinness World Records, she has won the tournament more times than any other woman in history. At number 14, Amandeep Singh. Amandeep Singh, also known as the Steel Man of India, was born in a small hamlet in India. This Punjabi Munda is well known for his tremendous physical strength and power. For his outstanding efforts across the world, he has garnered numerous awards. Amandeep needs to do more than eat a strict diet to keep his strength. Every day he benches 180 kilos, performs 2,500 push-ups, and lifts weights weighing 250 kilos. He also gets punched approximately 3,000 times. He began studying martial arts at the tender age of 10. He has also established a Ranjit Academy for Martial Arts, which is currently operating well to train many young enthusiasts. Since his childhood, he's been a member of Guru Gobind Singh Ji's army. He spends six hours in the gym and runs six kilometers every morning. He drinks one full jug of water first thing in the morning to flush the body of toxins. Yes, he consumes a substantial amount of food, which includes eggs, veggies, rice and chapatis. Every day he consumes two kilos of milk and cereals. He consumes a lot of fruits throughout the day. He fantasizes about opening world-class gyms to provide young people with access to training. If he receives enough backing and interested sponsors, he aims to complete in the WWE. And number 13, Bee Man. Gary is known as the Bee Man because he adores bees and wishes to educate others about them. He claims that most people have an overblown fear of bee stings because of a deluge of false and negative information in the media. These worries fade very quickly as one gains more knowledge and first-hand experience. He claims that the risks of being stung by a bee is equal to the minimal risks associated with most pets. To mention a few, cats scratch, dogs bite, horses kick and birds peck. Gary teaches bees to act in action sequences in films, TV shows, and advertising. 18 films, including Fried Green Tomatoes, more than 70 television series, including the Johnny Carson and Jay Leno shows, six commercial, and hundreds of live thriller bee shows have been among his credits over the last 35 years. He used to train bees to fly into his mouth to gather food from a little sponge soaked in his unique artificial nectar. For the stunt, he holds the Guinness World Record for holding 109 bees inside his closed mouth for 10 seconds. Gary, a Florida native, developed a childhood passion with bugs into a beekeeping hobby at the age of 15, when his dog led him to a dead tree with a wild honeybee colony. He moved them to a contemporary hive and adopted them as his pets. At number 12, Alain Robert. Alain Robert is a rock and urban climber from France. Robert is known as the French Spider-Man for his free solo climbing, which entails ascending skyscrapers with nothing but a small bag of chalk and a pair of climbing shoes. Because he didn't usually have authorization for such perilous adventures, Robert would show up at the site of any massive skyscraper he wanted to scale at daybreak. His exploits draw groups of people who come to see him climb. As a result, Robert has been detained numerous times by law enforcement officers waiting for him at the top of his ascent in various countries. Robert has done his climbs with authorization and sponsorship in recent years. Many of his climbs do not allow him to take a break, 
and can last several hours. He wears a tiny bag of climbing chalk powder around his waist on occasion. Robert has scaled the Burj Khalifa, the Eiffel Tower, the Sydney Opera House, and the Montparnasse Tower, as well as other world-famous skyscrapers. At number 11, Benny Harlem. Benny Harlem is a man with a lot of hair. We're talking one-of-a-kind, world-record-breaking large here. This year, he was inducted into the Guinness Book of World Records with the title of Tallest High Top Fade. His 20.5-inch tall do is the result of 13 years of careful grooming. Harlem has passed on his love of huge hair to his daughter, 9-year-old Jackson, and the two have amassed a cult following of over 450,000 Instagram followers. Benny Harlem is an internet hair model who rose to celebrity through the social media platform Instagram, where he routinely publishes photos of himself modeling with a head of thick woolly hair. His images eventually featured his wife and daughter, who both have enormous locks. However, most of his photographs feature him and his daughter, causing his celebrity to soar even further. Benny decided to capitalize on his hair's popularity by launching a hair product line that would aid in hair growth. According to reports, there was a conspiracy and suspicion that Benny was a phony and a con artist. His hair isn't naturally his own. He uses Photoshop on his photos. His wife and daughter are paid actors who appear as his family, and he defrauds his followers out of their hard-earned money by selling false natural items. I'm not sure if this is correct. I only see what I see. And damn, that's a lot of hair. At number 10, Josh, the beast underneath. Introducing Josh McKellenay. With his weight loss tail, this Yuma bus driver has inspired thousands of people all around the world. His entire life has been spent being overweight. When you're ridiculed at school, like most overweight kids, so you isolate yourself and seek solace in food. As a result, he was addicted to both eating and video games. He attempted to play soccer and football, but neither sport appealed to him. He tried the diet and fitness thing as he got older, but he eventually gave up. He had a friend who had undergone gastric bypass surgery and advised him to do so. He hadn't seen a doctor in a long time, and he was on the verge of passing away, his resting heart rate being 110 when it should have been 72. His liver and kidneys were failing, and his overall health was deteriorating. He needed a few weeks to absorb the news because it was difficult for him to hear. At a local truck stop, he weighed himself and discovered he weighed 593 pounds. He then scheduled a doctor's appointment, but it wasn't for another three months. He also set a goal for himself to diet on his own for three months, and if he succeeded, he would try to lose weight naturally. Obviously, he achieved his objective because he had previously tried diet and exercise at the same time and found it to be too much for him. The first three months were solely focused on diet. As a result, Josh turned to YouTube for inspiration and encouragement to lose weight, but most importantly, to learn how to prepare healthy meals for himself. Then there was YouTube, and then there was Instagram. He began by posting images of his food, selfies, and updates, including how many steps he had taken that day. And then he finally released a complete body picture explaining his narrative so far. And the response was amazing. He now has over 40,000 followers and is inspiring people all around the world. At number 9, Michel Latito. Michel Latito was born in the French city of Grenoble in 1950. He began eating odd foods as a youth at the age of 16 and began performing publicly in 1966. He had pica, which is a psychological illness characterized by a desire for primarily non-nutritive items. Latito also had a thick lining in his stomach and intestines, which allowed him to consume sharp metal without damage, according to doctors. Latito also had extremely robust digestive fluids, allowing him to absorb the strange ingredients. Soft things like bananas and hard-boiled eggs, on the other hand, made him nauseous. Metal, glass, rubber, and other materials were consumed during Latito's performances. Bicycles, shopping carts, televisions, and a Cessna 150 were among the goods he dismantled, sliced up, and ate. Between 1978 and 1980, the Cessna 150 was consumed by Latito over a period of two years. Latito died in 2007, 10 days after his 57th birthday of natural causes. He was laid to rest in Grenoble's Saint Roch Cemetery. At number 8, Chinchar Kandranaya. Chinchar Kandranaya is an Indonesian Pencak Silat practitioner with over a million YouTube subscribers. She attended Lampung's Pencak Silat Harimau Utara School, which is located on the island of Sumatra's southern point. 
Master Aja Sevhirima Otara was her teacher. She is currently 25 years old and is known for kicking metal gas cylinders with her bare hands, hitting and kicking hard concrete and other severe behaviors. She began learning Penkak Silat when she was 7 years old. She has recently begun starring in her own low-budget films, which she premieres on her YouTube channel. She has recently sparked debate regarding her usage of visual effects to execute some of her feats. Chinchar Kandranaya has yet to declare that her videos are purely fabrications or to present proof to the public and be witnessed by other professional martial arts practitioners. In August 2020, a group of martial artists assembled to demand that she execute some of these superhuman feats in front of the camera, including MMA fighters and well-known Penkak Silat practitioners. Her crew recently published live video of her performing some of the feats. Her and Master Aegis have been focused on techniques and training rather than magical abilities in recent videos. She is undeniably a skilled martial artist with a capable video editing crew. Jin Tia claims that her films are not manipulated and that they are the result of a lot of trial and error. Despite the evident deception, a woman martial artist reaching her level of renown and talent is a remarkable achievement. We hope she continues to train Pankak Silat with the same zeal as before, just without the doctored videos. At number 7, Alexander Batuev. Alexander Batuev is a magnificent performer in the circus arts. With unique acrobatic components, Alexander exhibits amazing body flexibility. His outstanding performances at various festivals have earned him international acclaim, as well as a slew of honors and awards. He will astound you when you see him perform. Few people can match Alexander's abilities. He possesses a unique talent that is only given to one person every hundred years. At number 6, Ong Bak Real Life Have you ever seen Ong Bak? The film Ong Bak is a martial arts action film. Tony Jaa appears in Ong Bak. Thai martial artist, actor, stuntman, and action choreographer Tony Jaa states that one of his favorite martial arts is Muay Thai. Muay Thai fights may be seen in Ong Bak. We go to the movies to be entertained. What if I told you the action you see in Ong Bak is real? When a martial artist can perform stunts like this, it signifies he's put in a lot of time and effort in the gym. They can train so much that they often get seriously hurt and must wait until they recuperate before they can resume. It's never a good idea to criticize a martial artist based on his stature, as some of the tiniest martial artists can give anyone a good whipping. When it comes to self-defense, never underestimate your opponent. Many people claim that martial arts movies have motivated them to learn more. That's fantastic. However, I encourage you not to try to do everything you see in a movie. What you see in a film and what you see in real life are two very different things. At number 5, Asherani. After setting a world record for lifting weights with her hair and ears, an Indian woman has been dubbed the Iron Queen. With her curly hair braided into plaits, Asherani was able to lift about 54 kilos and nearly 32 kilos with her ears. To enter the Guinness Book of Records, she had to lift the weights 10 centimeters off the ground and keep them there for 5 seconds. The 23-year-old woman said she was very delighted to have broken both marks, calling it a major accomplishment. Manjeet Singh, a Leicester strongman, mentored Rani, who is from Punjab. At number 4. Kenichi Ito, a Japanese man who sprints on his arms and legs, has broken his own 100-meter dash world record. Kenichi Ito finished in 16.87 seconds, nearly a full second faster than his previous best of 17.47 seconds, set in 2012. For the past 10 years, the 30-year-old Japanese has been training. Through books, films, and zoo trips, he examines how primates walk and even tries to move on all fours in his daily life. Ito thinks that four-legged racing will become an official track and field event in the future. Carlos Martinez, a Guinness World Records official assessor, was present for the effort and later announced that Ito had set a new record. Number 3. Martin Lysis Martin Lysis is the man who conquered the mountain and became the world's strongest man. Strong men have found their pantheon after many years on the periphery, aided by the popularity of Thor Bjornsson's portrayal of The Mountain in Game of Thrones. Brian Shaw, a former champion, has more YouTube subscribers than Zac Efron. Martin's Lysis, the current championship holder, is the most prominent among them. Lysis began his search for strongman two decades ago. He was born in Latvia and raised in the United States. 
but when he returned to his birthplace as a teenager and was introduced to stone lifting by his grandfather, he fell in love with the sport. He told his parents when he was 20 that he wanted to relocate to California to train with Odie Hogan, a strongman icon, and he slowly worked his way up the ranks. Some of his endeavors may appear to be exotic. Most of his movements boil down to a millennia-old activity you do every day. You pick something up, carry it somewhere, then set it down. Strong men pick up anything from enormous stones to circus dumbbells any way they can, building tough bodies that can bear challenges from all directions. It is the most practical training available. They can do things that anyone can with a lot of power. He's a big guy, weighing more than 350 pounds. Strong man exercises, regardless of the amount of weight used, force your body to develop foundational strength. As you pull objects off the ground, your core and legs become stronger and your back becomes more durable. And all of that might translate into your daily life, making shopping bags and moving boxes a breeze. With Lysis's training, you'll gain more than muscle. You'll understand how to utilize it. At number two, Heba Ali. Heba Ali is of Jordanese heritage. Although she hasn't revealed her precise date or location of birth to the public, she's been a fitness model in New Jersey for years and is well known. Heba was encouraged to become an athlete as a child by her family members, who were all active in sports. Heba began exercising in high school and was a member of the track team during that time. She used to do well in track races, but as she got older, she discovered that she was falling behind other athletes because she wasn't training hard enough. She started going to the gym and working hard to enhance her fitness after finishing last in one of her track races. Heba decided not to enroll in college after she finished high school and focused solely on her job as a fitness model. Heba began her training sessions while still in high school at a local gym in New Jersey, where she outworked all the other athletes she knew. She became the greatest 800-meter runner in her school after two years of dedication and hard work. She grew even more motivated because of her success, and she needed more challenges and successes. She became addicted to working out at the gym and began weightlifting. Her enthusiasm for exercise escalated to the point that she forgot about track running and concentrated solely on her figure and muscles. Heba was immediately recognized by a modeling scout who stumbled across her Instagram page and asked her to attend her first photo shoot. She went on to be featured on the cover of a prominent fitness magazine, which launched her career as a fitness model. Heba has since been featured in several periodicals and has posed for a number of well-known brands and businesses. While she is now focusing on her career as a fitness model, she also works as a hybrid trainer, assisting others with their bodybuilding and powerlifting workouts. Heba has also participated in the 2016 film Withered Green, even though she's not an actress. Heba is known for her hybrid training, which incorporates heavy barbell lifts, isolation exercises, mobility and balance drills, and speed drills into one program. Deadlifts, sprints, and power cleans are among her favorite activities, though she hasn't revealed her full workout plan because she normally charges for that. Heba has a few standards to follow when it comes to her food intake but she doesn't necessarily stick to them. Her favorite foods are meat and fish, which she eats according to her body's needs. Muscle-preserving supplement, whey proteins, fat burners, and strength formulas are among the products she takes. People are turning to Instagram to find fitness models so they can learn from their workout programs and diets. And at number one, Zen Zierloin. Sen Zierloin, a 15-year-old South Chinese high school student, performed an impossible challenge by jumping faster than a team of national rope jumping champions. He dazzled the audience with a jaw-dropping performance as he attempted 1,000 jumps at breakneck speed against a five-person relay team. Zialin arrived at his destination in under 2 minutes and 47 seconds, stopping only once when the rope got snagged between his shoes at 966. With 34 leaps left before his triumphal achievement, the audience and judges clapped and urged him to beat the rest of the team to his target. His fervor and energy were so contagious that simply glancing at him made the entire crowd gasp for air. Even though the 1,000 leaps were evenly distributed among the five players, Zerlin was always at least 10 jumps ahead of them. Only the third player came close to catching up but his shoe got trapped in between the ropes as well, and the gap widened. The high power challenge took place on Beyond the Edge, a popular Chinese reality show. The renowned TV show is recognized for featuring everyday people performing remarkable acts and challenges. 
Some of the feats these people accomplished are mind-blowing. But my favourite has to be the guy who ate an entire plane. Is that crazy or what? Which one was your favourite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our countdown of 15 of the world's most unnatural individuals. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on this notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now. 